All right, guys, just wanted to post a little update to let you know where the build's going. Um, here's the capacitor we started with, and that'll be charged to 18 volts, and we'll see how far that takes us. One side, that white lead, goes to a reed switch, and the other side goes to one side of the coil. We've got a 12-point uh, Starship coil with super glue, trying to hold that together. <laughs> And the other side goes back to the capacitor. Um, that'll be trying to run this small lid motor that I got most of the ideas from YouTube user lid motor. It's got some great ideas for pulse motors. Uh, anyway, there's a magnet on the bottom, magnet on the top, a needle running through this lid, and you can see the magnets are arranged around the perimeter. Um, that just snaps on there and it's suspended so the only point of contact and friction is that bottom piece and there's very little friction there so I'm trying to save as much energy as I can um, with the magnetic bearings here a real small light motor and uh, this is supposed to be strong and uh, takes very little power to get that strong pulse out of it. Anyway, this is where I'm at. Um, my biggest tick up so far is this reed switch. Um, I think it's meant for stronger magnets or a system with more power. So I'm trying to make, uh, this is a strand off of a uh, branded metal cable uh, which is, is iron in it and this is not. So I'm going to see if I can get that to just tap this lead as those magnets go around. I may solder this onto a small piece of copper and uh, see how much I need to get it to respond. Anyway, um, that's where I think it's headed with this. Another option I'm pursuing is uh, this little cylindrical magnet. It's magnetized on the outside. Um, and I'll have rods. Uh, I would like to magnetically suspend that between some of these magnets from last year's motor. Um, anyway, that's where I'm at. Take care.